Hey everyone, in this video I'll walk you through the responsive settings in WP Bakery. I don't have to tell you how important responsiveness is, right? So, <laughs> let's just jump right in. In WP Bakery, there are some settings you can adjust globally through the WordPress admin panel and in the front end editor as well. Let's start with the admin panel. Hover over WP Bakery and then click on design options. Scroll down and you'll see the breakpoint options. What that means is that when a layout reaches a breakpoint, the content adjusts to fit the device's screen size. So elements might resize, rearrange, or become hidden. Default sizes here are pretty standard, but if necessary, you can adjust them. Okay, now to the front end editor. First thing you can do is just check how your pages look on all devices. You can do that here from the nav bar. I have already created a page here and you can just go through the devices and check if everything's okay. Next thing you can do, maybe the most important one, is adjust columns for each device. I have created what I like to call the 12 column cheat row. If you click on the column edit icon, then open the responsive options tab, this is what we're working with. All these options are based on the 12 column grid system used in most responsive web design frameworks, such as Bootstrap. It's used because it ensures consistency and flexibility with your layouts. And what that means actually on our actual page is that the maximum amount of columns in one row is always 12. And the size of those columns will change depending on the device and the breakpoint. So here we have a row with the maximum amount of columns. So if we open the responsive options for one of the columns, we'll see that the width is currently 1 12th, which is one column. And here are all the available proportions. In simple words, the screen width is divided into 12 columns. Each column takes a fraction of the total screen width. For example, a six column layout takes half the width because six out of 12 is 50% or one half. To understand these better, let's open the responsive settings for a column here, where one column is one third, or four columns in this 12 grid system. Okay, now what does everything else mean? For each device, you can adjust the offset, width, and you can hide the column. Now, we have the portrait tablet mode open now, and as you can see, the width for this device is the default, and is shown here at the top. So let's say that you want in the portrait tablet mode only two columns to be visible per line. So two columns per row would be half. And in our 12 grid system, that is six columns. So in the drop down, choose six columns or one half. Do the same for the other column and adjust last one as well. That can be either the whole 12 or half as well. Now you can see that the other widths have the option inherit from smaller enabled. That means if you check the layout from desktop view now, it will show the layout we adjusted for the tablet. For that not to happen, you can choose the original one third for all columns. Okay, now let's go back to tablet view and talk about offset. Let's add a color to the first column on the 12 columns here and open the responsive options. Currently, again, offset is inherited from smaller, so from mobile, and that is no offset for every device. But by choosing offset, we choose by how many columns the current column will be moved. For example, let's choose one column, and as you can see, it moves by one column. If we choose six columns, it moves to the very center. Now you also notice that the rest of the columns are moved below, and again, that's because they've reached the device breakpoint. Okay, let's put it back to no offset and move to the bottom row, where I would like the look of the layout more, if the bottom column would be in the center. How do we do that? We open the responsive settings and follow our little 12 column cheat at the top. 
I can see that if I move it three or four columns, it might be in the center. Let's start with three. And it was exactly three. Our column is in the center now. Remember to adjust the offset for bigger devices if it's set to inherit from smaller to no offset or any other custom offset. Otherwise, we'll see the same thing on desktop as we do now in the tablet. Last option is to hide the column for a specific device. That's very straightforward. Just check the box and the column won't be visible on that device. And that's it. Always remember the 12 column cheat row and everything will be clear from there. And that's it. Thank you all for watching. You can get more tutorials and information about WP Bakery in our knowledge base. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.